Hey guys, this is Leah with Scott LaVoy Marketing. In today's tip video, I'm going to show you how you can create a brand new smart plan to feature your mobile app and start promoting that. So you've probably been hearing the word smart plan, and if you're unsure of what that is, no worries, you're not alone. All right, what your smart plans are is a way to automate a lot of your processes. So smart plans will consist of a series of either emails, texts, um, tasks, call reminders, and so forth um, that you can set your clients up on. And so I'll show you that, how to go ahead and set that up to promote your app right away. Alright, so first things first, let's do a little bit of housekeeping and make sure that everything is set up in your account to do an effective smart plan. Um, so first of all, I'm logged into KW Command. So that is agent.kw.com. So agent.kw.com to log into command. Alright, and feel free to pause the video if you're still working on logging in. That's no problem. And then once you get in, we'll go ahead and click on our name on the very top right of command. And then settings from that drop down. Great. So again, we'll click on our name on the very top right of command and then settings. Now, the main two items for smart plans that we need to make sure are hooked up. So we need to scroll to the very bottom of your apps. So these are all the apps that are currently connected to command. Let's go on to the bottom to find uh, the email services section for the command email. So currently at this time, the command email is being used to send out smart plan emails. Okay, and as, as of today, March 16th, 2020, okay, lots of changes always to the system. So this is how we'll be working for today. Uh, so command email, so we'll need to just make sure if you click on manage on the far right here, that you have your cor correct reply to email address here. So make sure you have updated here how you want your name to display and a reply to email. So you'll see an emails are sent for the from a KW email address on your behalf and you can configure the agent name displayed in the reply to email address. Okay, so you want all emails sent out from your smart plan to reply back from what address. Okay, so you're adjusting that from here. If you don't see it on that list, you can always click right here to add a custom email. All right, so once we have that saved, go ahead and X out. I don't think we have to click anything else. All right, oh, you'll have to click Save Changes if you alter anything. All right, and then you can X out of that. Okay, you can send up to 5,000 emails a month for free with the command email. All right, the only other thing that we need to check on as far as the apps go is our Twilio account. All right, and this is optional. So let me just explain that real quick. So under productivity, um, if Twilio is not connected, it might be there or it might be higher up if you have that connected. So what your Twilio account is, um, is an optional account that is not a free service. Okay, so this is a paid service in order to be able to bulk text your contact database. So if you want, as a part of the smart plan, one of the bulk texting options to go out automatically, you would need to have your Twilio account connected up to KW Command, right? and you'd have to load some money on there. Okay, I believe it's about .001 cent per text message that goes out for your Twilio account, so you can load some money onto that account, and it will charge you per text it sends is how that works. So you can check out the pricing, and if you need any um, help setting up your Twilio account, feel free to let us know, support at scottlevoymarketing.com. So that are those are the two apps that are involved in Smart Plans. And let me just direct your attention to one other section. Um, so in the Connect settings on your left-hand side, and guys, of course, if you're still working on Twilio, feel free to pause the video so you can follow along. I know that helps me. All right, so on the left-hand side here, I'm going to click on Connect Setting and then Marketing Profile. Now this marketing profile here is what autofills onto any smart plan emails that go out. Um, it also fills onto your website and landing pages and so on and so forth. So it's really important that you scroll over, scroll through these items and make sure this is all set up correctly. You'll have to fill in all the fields that have a red star next to it in order to save it. Okay, right? and then you can click save on the bottom. You also need your headshot at the top. Just heads up. All right, and if you would like to um, have us fill this out for you, you can always go to scottleroymarketing.com forward slash command to fill out the form, and we can do this for you. 
Okay, so we do need to have our contacts in our database first in order to set them up on a smart plan. So if you have not already added them to your contact database, you can do that from here. All right? And your contacts typically would need a phone number and an email address for all parts of the smart plan to work. So the smart plan section on the left hand side menu, okay, it kind of looks like a to-do list with a settings gear. And you'll notice if I hover my mouse over it, it will tell me that it's the smart plan section. Okay, so that's about the <clears throat> fourth uh, icon down would be the smart plans. Now, if you click on smart plans and this page is blank, no worries. It's supposed to be like that if you've never used smart plans before. All right, but if you have used smart plans, these are your existing smart plans that you have currently active. And if I click on the library option here, one second. So we are clicking on the library option on the very top of your screen. And in this tip video, we're going to focus on the Promote My App Smart Plan. So on this smart plan, you'll see that level up your lead generation by launching the smart plan that puts your app in the hands of current and future clients, right? There was a brand new mobile app launched right after a family reunion, so mid-February-ish. So if you are looking to start promoting your mobile app, get your clients to start, you know, searching for homes on your app as opposed to, you know, Realtor.com or Zillow, okay, this is a great smart plan to use to start promoting that right away. So you'll see there are five steps in the smart plan. It's a duration of five days and a series of three touches. So touches meaning that's how many times you reach out to your client. If you click view steps right here, it will show you in general the steps that will go out during this email, I'm oh, sorry, during the smart plan. So it'll send an email, wait a day, send a text, okay? And if you are using Twilio, it will automatically send out a text. And you can notice if I hover my mouse over it, it tells me um, the template for the text that would go out, but we will have the option to edit that, so hold tight. It will then delay and then send a second text message here. And again, I'm hovering over my mouse to see what that default template would look like, okay? Now, if you have a Twilio account hooked up in the settings, like we did at the beginning of this video, this uh, text would automatically go out. If you are not utilizing Twilio, no worries. You can automatic, or I'm sorry, you can manually text this out to your contacts in your database. Okay, so if I want to go ahead and add in the smart plan to activate it, I'll go ahead and click Add Smart Plan on the bottom left. There's not really too much to do here. You can edit the name, but only you see that, so up to you. And you cannot edit these uh, grayed out boxes quite yet, so really you just need to click Apply. Alright, so it lets you know you've successfully added that. So now to start working with the smart plan and add contacts, we have to switch over to the My Smart Plan section. Okay, so we're scrolling back to the top and clicking My Smart Plans. Now you might have to scroll down to go ahead and find that. So right here, all right, I don't have my contacts added in yet, so let's come on, let's go ahead and do that. Come on to the right-hand side here column under Actions. Hover your mouse over the icon that looks like a little guy with a plus sign. You can go ahead and click on that to add contacts. So from here, you can go ahead and, so if you have quite a few contacts, you can add up to 20 contacts at a time right now. Okay, so unfortunately you can't bulk add more than 20 at a time yet, but hopefully that is to come. So to do that, you would just click Select All at the top if you'd like to include all of these and click Add to Smart Plan. You can also search for contacts, search them by tag. So instead, let's say I want to put all my buyers on this Smart Plan. Okay, I could search by the um, buyer tag, click Select All to select all buyers and add them to the Smart Plan. Okay. Now, again, just 20 contacts at a time, and then we'd have to repeat this um, process to add the next 20. So we'll click Add Smart Plan. And we have a few options here to start the Smart Plan now, if I want to start it at a later date, or if I want to stagger the start. So I'm going to leave that first option. That's the most popular choice. And then we'll click Confirm. Okay, it shows me a confirmation here, who's getting added. Okay, it lets me know my Twilio account is not hooked up, so it won't text automatically, and it shows me 
the plan steps, so I can confirm that. All right, so contact successfully added. So now that I have 20 contacts added in, okay, this plan is active. So this is a little misleading, this little ticker that's shown as off under the activated column. Okay, ignore that right now. Okay, that's not currently a live feature. So as long as you have contacts on your smart plan, it is active, and you can always unsubscribe them by clicking on the eyeball. Now we do have some editing options. So if you go ahead and hover your mouse, or go ahead and click on rather, the pencil icon on the far right column here, you can edit that. So again, I clicked on the pencil icon on the far right. And you probably just saw that red banner um, that said Twilio account not connected. So it keeps reminding me that the text messages in this plan will not automatically go out. You would have to manually send them. But if you do have Twilio hooked up in the settings of command, okay, we'll treat it like that to move forward. So first step is it will send an email. Okay, so it'll send an email on your behalf um, uh, promoting the app. Okay. Then it will send, so it'll wait a day, so you can see the delay for step two. And then step three, it'll send a text message. All right, so this right here shows you the text message, and this is completely editable. So if you would like it to, if you'd like to change that to make it come across more like something you would say, go ahead, have at it. Have at it. All right, you'll see some things like the agent first name and agent last name. Okay, that is pulling from um, these merge fields on the right hand side. So of course this would enter in your name. So hey, this is John Smith with Keller Williams Realty. Did you see a neighborhood listed, a home in your area? I said that wrong. Did you see a neighbor listed a home in your area? Download my brand new KW app to check it out and it will put in your app link, okay? So you can edit that here, uh, but you do not have to. And then as we scroll down, we see that second um, text that would go out as well. So this goes out three days later. Okay, so you can see the delay. Three days later, it'll send another text. So you can edit all of this here, but if you're pleased with that, you can click Save. It lets you know that the smart plan changes have been saved. So you're good to go from here. Yeah, you can either add more contacts on the top right. You can save it on the top right. And then on the top left, we click the back button to get back to all your smart plans, okay? So if you're just starting to use smart plans, it's always a good idea to put yourself on the smart plan first before it goes out to your contacts. Of course, that's great practice for anything you use in command or anything else really. But if you have any questions as you're going through all this, please do not hesitate to reach out to us, support at scottlavoymarketing.com. We'd be more than happy to help you with any questions that you might have to get you rolling on uh, promoting your new app. All right, guys, stay healthy, wash your hands a bunch, and uh, stay home. Take care.